Whoa. That was close. I almost scratched the paint. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do our final cleanup of the Xenon here in uh, Split Space, Xyroth Space in particular. Uh, so don't remember exactly where we were in the last episode, but just to kind of review real quick here, uh, we cleared the Xenon out of Wretched Skies 4 and out of Family Zen. Uh, so no more Xenon stations at all in those uh, places. I flew up to Family Crit with the potential idea in mind of maybe clearing out Rise Defiance, but I decided not to do that. Uh, for one reason, I found one more sector, uh, 598, which is a really big, mean Xenon sector with shipyards, and there's an eye flying around up in there. Um, and, and Rise Defiance itself doesn't have any mineral resources. It has scrap, but... Um, excuse me, I think I have to sneeze. <laughs> it has scrap, but I'm not really planning on doing anything with scrap in this playthrough. That's probably something I'll, I'll take a, a look at, you know, uh, if and when we do a, a pirate playthrough. Because it seems like it, it would fit better that way. Um, so I decided not to mess with Rise Defiance. Um, but what we are going to do moving forward is we're going to keep a close eye on uh, on the rest of these sectors here. I've got advanced satellites in place all the way even into Emperor's Pride here. And <laughs> there we go. There's the sneeze. <laughs> um, and if it looks like, okay, well, here's here's a good example. This just now showed up. So they just started building that station. So now what I'm going to do I got two Ks there too. So we're going to have to uh, um, bring the fleet back there. And, well, that's in Litany of Fury though. I don't think I'm going to worry about Litany of Fury. This is really, uh, and, and for the same reason, by the way, there's nothing here. Uh, in fact, there's not even enough sunlight here. This place sucks. It's really dark. Um, for whatever reason, God only knows, Perrin had claimed this stage uh this sector but this one's even worse it only has 30 percent sunlight and there's no minerals in there either so xenon can have that place but we don't want to let them push into wretched skies 10 here so if and when i start to see them uh, building a station here then i'll send a fleet over there to say ah uh, no that's not going to happen um so i got satellites at uh, um, on almost all the gates or at least at the strategic locations in the sector so I can keep an eye on them moving forward. Um, so yeah, so I decided to just hold, you know, hold the uh, onslaught at family crit. And I'm not going to at this point build defense stations at all these spots because it's just it would take way too long to do and and yeah, I, I, I may do that eventually, but not right now. It's just too, it, it would be too much to take on and take too long. And there's other things we need to get done. Like we need to start building up our infrastructure better, and uh, which I want to do. I want to get a trading station going and acclaim Napilius's fortune four or whatever, or six rather, for our own home sector. And I'm, I've already started moving into that direction. I have currently... Um, I've got my builder in three Corvettes down there and I have them staged so we can get started, uh, and get ready to build, uh, which if all goes well, we'll actually start that process later on in this episode. But, uh, I want to, I want to, you know, finish the, the job up here essentially. So what we're doing now is we are in Xyarth's dominion and there is a solar power plant and a defense platform and the xenon are trying to take out this xyarth factory here i've already sent a group of fighters up there once to to, to shoo him back but now we have a k that's also come through the gate um so what we're going to do is we're going to blitz the k and um and and get rid of them and then we'll do you know the usual where we'll take out the defense platform and the solar power plant as far as the other side of things goes um, I have advanced satellites in these locations and I probably, wow, that's a lot of fighters. I'll probably will, 
send the fleet over to Tharka's Ravine 24 and try to push these guys out of here too. Because that will then, you know, buy some time for free families. I'm not worried about this Xenon sector because there's there's no, no ship producing factories here, at least not at the moment. So in terms of invasion, um, this is not really a threat right now. It could become one later, but it isn't right now. So if we can kind of stem the tide a little bit here in Tharka's Ravine 24, then that should give the free families in these three sectors anyways a little breathing space. Um, we would also, well, and yeah. Then there's also, the, you know, these, these two stations down here. And that means we would have to push in the family to Kerr. And I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. It's just too much uh, at this point. So even if these are eventually lost, which would suck. I mean, there's a lot of stations here, so there's a lot of good trading there. I think that, you know, we need to at least try and protect these, uh, sec these four sectors up here, even though this one's actually owned by Zyreth. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't care if it's owned by Zyreth versus Free Families as long as it's not the Xenon. So... Uh, yeah, so the plan for our continued onslaught is to finish in Zyroth's Dominion and then come over here, clear out Tharka's Ravine. And then at that point, we're just going to keep an eye on things. And when a new station starts to get built by the Xenon in a place we don't want that station, we will send the fleet over there and take it out. And it won't be hard to do as long as it's not fully built. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not really hard to do even when it is fully built. It just takes a little time. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and deal with this issue here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send, I'm pretty much just going to send everybody in uh, to, to just blitz that K. So my Chimera group and my She group all the way through B are the ones that have the... Um, whatchamacallits, the centigraders uh, for surface elements. Uh, so because we have so many of them and because these fights go pretty darn quick, I just tell them to attack all surface elements rather than try and focus on any one particular thing. Um, and then the rest of the she's are just going to go in and do a general attack. Um, actually, no, you know what I think I'll have them do is deal with these guys so let's do a, an attack multiple objects and have them specifically target them and then once those guys are are dead i can sick them also on the k and then we'll take our destroyer group and just send them in and i will be going in of course too and this should go reasonably well okay let's do this Ah, shoot, they just took out the split station. Oh well, it is what it is. This machine's starting to get annoying. They will definitely um, be avenged, if nothing else. What a pile of junk. We're taking it! <laughs> Fireworks, man, this is awesome. Okay, time to pull the fighters back. Let's just tell everybody to flee. I 
destroyers were late getting in here. This guy would already be dead. It all worked out. Shit, I got my front guns. It's too, a little too close. They'll still work, but it's just going to take a little bit longer to kill the station off. Um, Alright. Well, that didn't go terrible. Uh, so let's regroup everybody, and then we're going to do the usual where we will have the fighters um, in a protect position group while we pound on the station. So let's tell everybody here to remove your orders and assignments. Have everybody mimic Chimera Zero. And then Chimera Zero will protect position. Protect position. And we'll put them right about here, maybe. And a 30 kilometer radius. And then just move it back so it's not... They're not going to the defense platform itself. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now what we're... Yeah, our, none of our... <laughs> <laughs> none of our destroyers got there. Um, well, at one of them might have. No, none of them did. Yeah, they're all right here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to position the destroyers. Uh, well, you know, first, actually first, I'm just going to have them go to the station to attack. And then once they get there, then I'll, I'll reposition them. That seems to work the best, particularly since we're not quite on the same plane as this one. Uh, the station anyway, so we're down a little bit low. So let's just have them attack directly. And then, like I said, once they get within attack range, then I'll reposition them into better positions. Let's make sure these guys are not doing anything else. I forgot to clear their previous orders. Sometimes you have to do that, sometimes you don't. Actually, hold on to... Let's, um... But I'm, I'm trying to train myself to get into the habit to just, well, at least check it and make sure that they're not first doing something else. Let's send this Chimera over to here to upgrade and repair. Or repair specifically. Okay. All right, let's take this sucker out. Oh, it doesn't look like they have this station fully built yet. Well, that's nice. That means we can take it out a little quicker. quicker. Okay. I will also be destroying their storage as usual. That way they can't just immediately start back up again. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to hop out of the captain's thingy here and we're going to tell the rattle or make sure that the rattlesnake is continuing an attack. There's no turrets around uh, in this particular position, so they should be fine. And now what we're going to do is... I saw the Odysseus firing, so I think it's okay, but these guys are all piled up on each other. So let's teleport over to Osaka 3 and move them to a new position. Callie, stay where you are. Don't be moving around. That's the one thing that I still can't get these damn ships to do is stay in position 
uh, in you know the ideal range and stay pointed at the station. They all they will often turn around and then that way you know, and not use their main batteries. And it's just I don't know why the hell they do that. It's very frustrating. So I've got to babysit them. But over uh, aside from that, and that's just something I I can't control. Aside from that, though, our little setup here seems to be working very well for destroying these stations. Okay, we got gravitons firing, but they're not. They can't actually get to us. We're too high for them. So why they continue to fire when they can't hit us? I'm not really sure, but. Um, Probably wouldn't hurt to take them out just in case the AI decides to. Uh, whoops. I had it there a second ago. Come on. There we go. Decides to move the ship into a bad spot, you know? You are in a good position. Don't move. Just stay here and attack and use your main guns. Don't be stupid. Okay, let's go grab another one of these guys and get them spread out better. These other two, even though they're in each other's personal space, they're they're both. I think they're both firing their main batteries, so they're kind of all right at the moment. coming at things from this angle. And we are in range on the main guns. Let's bring them in a little closer though. Good position, stay there, don't move. Let's hop back into the rattlesnake. Kelly, what are you doing? Hello there. You should have stayed exactly where I had you and kept attacking. You're my top pilot. If you can't do it, nobody ever can. <laughs> What the hell was she doing? I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I can't understand. Uh, I can't comprehend why they think they need to, to move once they're in a really good position. Um, where the hell are we at? I don't even. I don't even know where the station is. Explosion. There it is. The nice thing about this station is it never even had drones set up yet, so we didn't have to deal with them. Not that that's a big deal, but they pretty much can't hurt our destroyers. Okay, we just have this last incomplete section here to deal with. I think that's it. Okay. That, that actually went reasonably smooth, and it is now a wreck. So, what I'm going to do is... Awaiting orders. Yeah, these guys will take care of them, so let's just leave them where they are for the moment. Okay, 
that wipes that out. Oh, I love I love this system. Uh, you know, just with the accretion disk thing going on there, it's so cool. All right, so we took care of that. Our fighters are continuing to mess with those guys. You know what? I might actually leave the fighters there. Uh, because they're guarding the, the gate and any xenon that come into the sector are going to come through that gate so they're fine where they are we don't need them to take on the solar power plant okay so let's do the same thing let's have well you know what actually what i think i'm going to do in with the solar power plant is let's let's position these guys in advance so we'll tell the Odysseus, Odysseus rather, to come around to this side and get in position there and then attack. The Osaka and come here and then over to here and then point in that direction and attack. And likewise, we'll do the same with the other guys. Let's move this over there. Okay, and then solar power plant. We will come in with the rattlesnake. Let's push these bastards out of here. So the xenon are trying to send their builder ships back in here to get started, and they're just getting cremated. <laughs> Play my force at guarding the gate there, so it works out pretty good. You know what we should do though, actually? We should um make sure there isn't another K on its way through. Yeah. There's a there are ooh. Yeah, there's that's an I. And I hope I don't send that thing through. I don't know how well we we could do against an I with our current fleet possible we could do it but uh, so it doesn't look like they're sending anybody through at the moment but we do need to keep an eye on that unless I miss my guess it looks like this isn't fully built out yet either which is great absolutely phantasmagorical it's gonna go down fast probably no drones to worry about either but even if like I said there are some who cares Like our destroyers are getting in position and starting their assault, which is good. I've been given some thought to a rattlesnake shock squadron. Um, I do not like, <clears throat> as I've mentioned to you guys multiple times, the AI controlling the rattlesnakes because of the close range. But I got to thinking, all right, what if I what if I had two additional rattlesnakes and I kept them very close to me and my rattlesnake? Kept them very closely under control. Um and then when a K comes in, we all blitz it together. If we did that, we would burn that K down so fast. I mean, I can burn down a K by myself just in one rattlesnake, but I usually end up taking some damage in the process. But if we had like two, maybe even three more accompanying, and they're, they basically are not allowed to attack anything autonomously. They only attack when I give them a direct order. And if we, you know, get the timing of it right and all of that, that could actually work out pretty good, I think, for case. All right, 
that's it. That went pretty smooth. Let's take out these storage. Beautiful. Okay. So, let's assess. Oh, look at that. They tried They tried to set up a new defense platform. How funny. Uh, nope, that ain't going to happen. Let's um, tell you guys to remove all orders and go say no to that dude. P. I'll deal with this P. Um, actually, you know what? We can just call the fighters back to us now. Because, I mean, they just started that one, so they're not going to... Let me make sure there isn't a K coming through. Ooh, there is a K coming through. Okay, hold on. Pause the game. I mean... We could leave the fighters in place and they'll just... Oh, wow, look at all these ships over here. That's scary. <laughs> um, nah, I... I don't think I want to leave those ships there. I'd rather have, you know, control their attack on the on the K. So let's call them back to us. I want all of you guys to remove all orders and assignments and reassign on the rattlesnake and an intercept. And we will go deal with this guy while these guys come back to us, and then we'll turn around and Joining squad. destroy the K. Whoa! That was close. I almost scratched the paint. Resources allowed for the Xenon. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Did they ever send that K through? I, th I thought I told my dudes to turn off, drop the laser, but apparently I didn't. But you know what? Whatever. It's just going to be a pain for the Xenon when they come. Well, they actually probably won't ever go down there. <laughs> whatever. Um, all right, I don't know if that K is going to come through or not. Interceptors take out these ships that are trying to reset again. Awaiting orders. He doesn't look like he's in a hurry to come through that gate. Awaiting orders. Okay. Well, I think we've accomplished our mission in Zyroth's Dominion 1. damage if any at all. Awaiting orders. Okay, so here's what's going to happen next. You guys just remove Awaiting orders. Uh I guess I'm going to have to do this. The reason they're having a problem is because I told them to attack that new station, but it does it's not there anymore, so. Well, usually when something like that happens, they realize it's not there and then remove the order themselves, but apparently in this particular case, they didn't. I don't know why. Can't explain it. Okay, so here's the plan now. We are going to bring the fleet over to Tharka's Ravine. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to try and get through fires of defeat to get there. So this system does not have 
a shipyard, as far as I can tell. I don't know. You, you know, we might just go in here and clear these stations out, too. It would be really useful in... There's an Argon Space Fuel Factory there? That's funny. Um, it'd be really useful to clear them out of this system, too. Um, because then we have, you know, safe passage over here. So, I might I might end up doing that. It, it, we're going to have to pop three stations unless there's more that ha they've built that I haven't noticed. Yeah, I, I, I think it just plain makes sense to do that. But, I'm going to work on that mostly off camera. I might show you some footage of this fight. And I'm going to clear these stations out of here off camera because you guys have seen me do it several times now. And we've been doing this in the last three or four episodes in a row. So I I, I will only show minimal and, and maybe none, none of it. If, if none of it is spectacular, if it's just kind of the same thing, I might not show any of it. We'll see. Uh, but the plan is for me to get Fires of Defeat cleared out and Tharka's Ravine cleared out. Okay. And then, but. What I want to do before I let you guys go in this episode is let's get started with setting up our home sector. So I want the fleet to rendezvous at this gate here. So I'm just going to tell the rattlesnake to fly here. Um, oh, I, got, I have to get out of the driver's seat. So if I give it a guidance, I think that only applies to me. I could be wrong about that, but... Awaiting orders. Okay. Yeah, so let's, um... Bring the... Oh, actually, no. You know what I'm going to do first? Is I'm going to have the Rattlesnake dock at this shipyard. Uh, so I can replenish. We have new orders. It's repair Navigation. drones. Fly to the following position. And we might need Confirm. to do the same thing with these guys. Okay, this has a full. Uh, the the Odysseus has full repair drones. That one does. This one doesn't. So Osaka two also needs to dock. And Osaka three needs to dock. Actually, you know what? I'm not doing this right. Hold on a second. Remove all orders. What I'm going to do instead is tell the rattlesnake to upgrade and repair. And that way you can handle the repair drones on its own. Add to the shopping list. Confirm order. And then when you're finished doing that, I want you to go stage... down in front of this gate here. Why and wait. Or I could even tell it instead. No. I'm not going to I'm not going to give it a protect position cuz if I do that I might forget that I did that and then it'll come back here later when I don't want it to. So I'm just going to tell it to fly and wait. It'll be fine cuz it's turrets and fighters will protect it from anything that's coming through. Okay. Now, the rest of these guys will just follow the rattlesnake except for that we have a few Osaka's that also need to replenish their drones. So I think it was Osaka 2. Yep, so you also upgrade and repair. Uh, no, I'm not going to pay for repairs because that's what the drones are for. Just replenish your drones. Confirm that order. Osaka 3 needs drones. And 
a sack of four needs drones. Beautiful. Okay. So I think uh, I think we can leave these this fleet to its own devices for a while. We have a station here that hasn't been discovered. Let's send Chimera up there. Just to see what it is. And then I will have them I'll tell them to just follow the rattlesnake after that. Because otherwise they'll just sit there and not, and not move back to the rattlesnake. Because fly and wait doesn't cancel it itself because it, it says wait there until I can get to you. Okay. All right, good. So we're good to go there. Let's um let me actually do a, a a quick save here before we go any further, just in case something goes south on us. You never know what'll happen when you when you leave your fleet in the hands of the AI. Even my top captain, Captain Cali Brano, still derps out. <laughs> we say as right as we're standing right behind her, she's gonna elbow me. Okay. We are going to take a, a quick side stop at the Argon Prime shipyard. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I can teleport directly to them. That, mean, that means we're th level 30. Once you hit level 30 with these guys, you can teleport directly to their stations. Or no. We're not 30 with Argon, but we can still... Entering Zyoth's Dominion 10... Hmm. And today you can see you are you are allowed to teleport to stations. I wonder if it's different for each faction, because we can't teleport to Antigone. They're only twenty. Uh, we can with the God Realm. We can't with the Holy Order. So maybe it's when it hits. Yeah, but see, Sigaris is twenty-six. Which is the same as Argon, but they still won't let us teleport. So it's not just based upon being level 26. There's probably other factors involved as to when they will let you teleport to them. But it's great that we can teleport directly to an Argon station now because I don't have to send a ship over there. Um, and the reason we want to go to Argon in particular is because that's where I've been getting all of my building blueprints. Because we're pretty much doing Argon stations for the most part in this playthrough. I like the way the Argon stations look for one thing, but it's also kind of where we started, so. All right, so let's teleport directly to the shipyard. That is cool, man. <laughs> it's so useful to be able to do that. Entering system, Argon Prime. And then I gotta, I might actually jump in that scout. Yeah, oh, wrong, wrong way. Well, no, let's not jump in the scout. Let's tell the scout to My my scout's still laying satellites down, it looks like. Um, let's tell this scout to fly to and dock at Builder 1, because that's where we're heading next. Anyways, and then it's available to me to use if I need it. Okay, let's go talk to the uh, representative. I've pur already purchased a great deal of blueprints from them, but there's still a few more things I want to get. And let's go into here. Let's go to here and just pull whatever money our headquarters has on hand. 52, okay. Uh, so that brings us up to 137.7 million in the wallet right at the moment, which is pretty good. We're getting our money built back up thanks to those advanced auto traders. 
Let's also take a quick look at our log. I haven't looked at that or cleared it anytime soon. And make sure no ships got destroyed. Ooh. Okay, so there was a there was a must have been a big attack on our freighter, because these were all guarding the freighter. Um yeah, at second contact too. That's that's a hot place because that's where the Xenon like to hang out. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's clear the logbook entries. And speaking of which, I have a new in Carcachua. I'll probably never get the pronunciation of that thing right. Uh, cooking up here. And looks like it's done. Nice. I sent my, my other freighter over to... Um, you know, bring some haul parts over so I can build our second freighter. Now, where did he... He must have left. Yeah, he's all the way back in true sight now. Okay. Well, here, let's do this. Let's rename... Copy that. And you are now freighter 2. Now, Freighter 2 still needs Hmm. I thought Plasma Turret Shield Generators. Doesn't this ship have Uh, you know what? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't have large turrets. Here, let's look at our other one for a minute. Okay, it doesn't. So, so it's just got the four plasma turrets or, or large, uh, medium turrets, which have plasmas for out of sector combat. Five cargo drones. Five repair drones. And then a, a small wing of fighters, of which we lost four, so we'll have to replenish them. This one, however, has Talati shield generators. Whereas this one... Seems to have one Argon shield generator for turrets that I must have missed, but it doesn't have any main shields. So what we're actually going to do with this guy is we're going to send him down to Sagaris and get some Terran shields on this thing. Okay, so let's go upgrade and repair. All of this should be the way it's supposed to be. But we're going to fit two Terran shields on here. And... Let's also put Terrans on the turrets too. All right, yeah, plasma turret. And that's going to give us some serious shielding on this thing because Terrans got the best shields. I think everything else should be correct. Oh. No, I'm going to have to redo the template. I don't want... it. This needs to have five cargo drones and five repair drones. I don't worry about defense drones because I just have fighters accompany it. So, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to redo the, the template for this the next time I make a, another one. And that's all looking good. Okay, so let's... Oh, actually, I can save the loadout here, can't I? Um, We're going to call this Terran Shield. Save as new. We won't be able to use it, though, in Antigone Memorial Shipyard because it'll it won't let me load it without the Terran shields, but when we send it over here to get them, then I can 
just do that loadout. Okay, great. So let's add this to the shopping list. That's going to be another 4.9 million to get that done, but it's worth it. These ships are our workhorse. Workhorses. And, you know, I will be slowly building up even more freighters. They're when I'm not using them, I'll have them just, you know, trade for the station. But what I am mostly going to use them for is to haul stuff to build new defense platforms across the universe and that sort of thing. Okay, so that's done. Too many things going on at the same time. Let's talk to you. like to buy a blueprint. We want to go to modules. And we want to go to dock modules. And I want to buy the big 8M... Oh. I guess I already own that. Okay. I guess I already own that. Um, because we want a lot of medium docks at a trade station. So that's the majority of the ships that will come through. Why? Oh, these, the, okay, these must be different than the pier that I already have. Because you get, you automatically get a three dock pier. It just comes with, you know, as standard equipment with the game. I don't know what the difference is between the one I have now and the Argon three dock pier, but I, you know, it's still three docks. Oh, it's a T pier. Okay, I see what's different. Because we have an, I guess it's called an E pier. So this is a T. That's the difference. All right, well, I'm not going to spend money on this stuff right now. We don't, we don't, it's not essential to do that. I mostly wanted to get this and I forgot that I had already learned it at some point uh, in the, in the past. <laughs> so we're good to go. Okay. Um, We own all of the production modules at this point I'm going to actually buy this the reason I didn't buy it before is because good luck out there there uh at that at that time the Argon Wharf had been destroyed and they hadn't replaced the, uh, a new representative yet so I had to go to Lottie uh so okay so that means then we own all of the Argon's production modules right down Right down the board. Good. Uh, there's a couple more that Antigone has that I think we need to get to, but I don't think I can teleport to Antigone yet. Not to their stations anyway. Let's see. We do have that ship there, but we need to get... Yeah, you know what? Actually, let's do that. Let's teleport to our freighter. Because it's going to fly right on by there, and then we can just have it drop us off. Entering system. Antigone Memorial. This is our new captain, a a Avalyn Polar? Hi, Avalyn. Uh, whoop. Look at me. Look at me, Avalyn. There you are. Okay, cool. Um, so, Avalyn, I need you to actually take a very short detour and drop me off at the trading station. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Avler to dock and wait. And then we need to move that up in the queue so she goes there first. We have new orders. First. Navigation! Fly to the following position. Acknowledged. Do it, navigation. Get it done. Okay, so while that's happening, let's get into here and we want to go down to the Peleos's fortune why is my builder not there I don't know I do not remember giving them an order to dock at the Argon shipyard. I must have accidentally had them selected. Our freighter's going through the system, or one of our haulers. Um, okay, well, then we need you to come back here and stay put. Hmm. 
So where are they at right now? There's some there's something screwy about this Cardinal's redress cuz I see it often pop up here when they're not actually in Cardinal's redress. Uh where are they though at the moment? Yeah, see they're in Pious Miss. So oh, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, uh, he'll come back there. We don't actually need him there immediately, and he's actually only one jump away anyways. It's a good thing I caught it when I did. All right, so here is the general plan. I, I've got a lot of thinking and planning to do, but what... Uh... Okay, good. He's there already. Uh, what the general idea is here is that we're going to build a trading station right at these gates. But I'm not going to build it right in the plane of the gates because ships come flying through there. So I'm either going to build it just slightly above or maybe slightly below um, the gate. So just envision right in the center here a trading station. And this is going to be Reaver Mart. <laughs> okay, and Reaver Mart's going to sell, uh, buy and sell, hopefully mostly sell though, um, all kinds of products. Not necessarily everything in the universe because we, we want to kind of keep it regional based. But on a quick side note on in that regard, it is my intent to eventually set up trading stations uh, all over the place that will then specialize in the... the uh, the wares in that their area okay uh, so we're going to mostly focus on wares that make sense for this area uh, which basically means Paranid and Talati are the two races that are, are the closest by um, we do have a little we do have some Argon too so we'll probably do Paranid, Talati and Argon wares uh, so they're you know their food all that stuff and then well, I'll, I'll also take a look at you know what's being produced in this general vicinity and add those items too and then of course you know like basic economics we will have the station buy low and sell high and then we'll just have to you know tweak that pricing until we 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 get it to where it's effective uh, which might take a little bit of trial and error but we'll figure it out and then we're going to put uh we'll put our uh, our our uh, administration center i think is what it is that and that's what makes a, or has us claim this sector um, there is a, a pharmaceutical goods factory down here i'm assuming it's still there i haven't been there in a very long time in fact you know what we could do is you should have that scout docked with you or did it not make it down there yet scout one okay here remove all orders and assignments and go dock at that station to let me know when you get there and I'll see if it's still actually there. But Hatikva, even though they have a station here, they don't own the sector itself. So we will own it and all of the building we can do here then will be at no charge in terms of plot replacement and it'll become our sector and I'm looking forward to it. This will be the first time we've owned our very own sector. Um, I'm not planning necessarily on doing much if anything more with the headquarters um i'm not i'm gonna leave it alone i'm gonna let it continue doing what it's doing but what i might end up doing is not no longer sell from here but have all of its product to be transported to the trading station uh, which is only just you know one jump away here so i'll figure that all out like i said i've got a lot of thinking to do there's going to be some trial and error uh, this is my first time doing this in X4. I, I did, you know, this sort of thing in X3 and X2 to some extent in the past, but it's, you know, things are different in X4. So, yeah, we'll we'll have fun uh, figuring this out and starting to build up our empire uh, as we go along. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go in this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. My tentative plan for the next episode is to bring you guys back when we're ready to actually start building the station uh, and go from there. Okay.